<laughs> Folks, oh. uh, welcome to Lord Saturday night. You missed a one hell of a green room. We really ought to start uh, taping these, but then again, we'd lose Rob because of human trafficking charges. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Lord. This is the Calamity Campaign. Thanks for joining us. If this is the first time here, hang on. It's going to be a wild ride. If you've been here before, oh boy, <laughs> these guys are wound up tonight. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord uh, if you want to be on this uh, show or on Between the Rolls on Tuesday. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on there. If you want to buy cool shit like this shirt or this phone case or that pillow or whatever the hell we've got going, women's underwear and all that crap, uh, take a look at the link down below. If you're in the market for some dice and who isn't, uh, especially if you're the cred campaign, because those guys can't roll above 10 to save their ass. Uh, those, with those... those guys suck. They, they just suck. And, uh, like, and I'll say, Carol can bitch at me all the time, but cred guys. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rolls a 13 and they're excited. <laughs> That's right. It's like a crit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can hit up uh, on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice for some dice. They make custom dice. Uh, hit them up, see if they can get you in there uh, and see if they can help you out. Also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, because uh, ours smells like success, uh, oddfishgames.com uh, has adventure scents, over 60 of them. They are wonderful. There's Rob's crotch. Uh, we do not have <laughs> Rob's there crotch we go, Rob. there. So. We're still in the works for that. But go over to oddfishgames.com, hit them up. They also have uh, How to RPG with Your Cat, their widely successful Kickstarter. They also have something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, <laughs> check out the Shine System. Uh, that being said, this is the Calamity Campaign. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you say, God, they're stupid, but at least they're good looking. Uh, <laughs> we'll start on my left. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me i'm still got the throat thing folks uh jesse you're up first who are you who do you play uh hello my name is jesse you can find me on the um <clears throat> all the socials at jr wooey i play the lean and ranger azari i slid on uh his sister's the one that's still comatose that's why they're in the big city next up is rob rob same question different answers well, I'm Rob, and you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on most of the socials. And um, hi, I'm Dave. Dave, Super will Dave. Be, <laughs> hopefully, Dave will not be getting a visit from uh, the United States government, but unless they were listening to the green room. Uh, next up is David. David, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm David. You can find me on the <laughs> Twitter first at D and Devious. Tonight I will be playing Ingve, the the Droid Shepherd. The cell or Shepherd Droid, whatever you want to call it. Uh I'm also um you can find me on Between the Rolls on Tuesdays and uh yeah, a little show called Cacophony on every other Thursday. So I play Zadar on that show. So tonight we get to see uh yeah, these fools for the city tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine. Last but certainly not least, Kevin, our newest member uh to Calamity. Tell us about yourself, Kevin. Hi, I'm uh, glad to be back. I'm Kevin. As he mentioned, I'm found on Twitter. I think it's up here at Kevran Games. I think that's where's that. And um, I, I think you're over here. I'm over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, here, here. I, here. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm Somewhere returning around. to play Tall. Who all we know about Tall is that he's mysterious and kind of weird looking. And coming across these fine folk, I uh, also found. On the Game Night Heroes podcast, I'm the host and game master for there, where we also play role playing games. But enough of that fun stuff. Let's uh, oh, got to give the uh, the date and time and location, man. Oh well, we come out on Tuesdays. Our season two is going to start up next month, and uh, we're starting with some really cool, awesome stuff. <laughs> we play a bunch of different role playing games, and uh, yeah, fun stuff. So nice. What's the address? It's at uh, GameNightHeroes.com. There you go. There you Easy go, folks. Uh, these four individuals are stuck in the city of your uh as i said earlier azari's comatose sister requires medical help uh after these guys got thrown out of their hometown of ba for shall we say indiscretions uh they made their way past whoppers uh large dwarves 
giant midgets uh, and find themselves in the city here. Uh, their initial greeting, uh, they still had rock here, and they were surrounded by undead zombies seeking brains. Clearly, they survived for what I'll say is obvious reasons. Uh, they also discovered Tall uh, the other day on a rooftop. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, uh, you guys get the shit kicked out of you. You have done some healing. You guys are going to take the night off, uh, learn about this tall guy, see how much he has to say, uh, see if you can trust him or if you should just chop off his head and barbecue his ass. So, uh, tall, do you have anything specific and or Azari, Dave and Ingve, do you have any specific questions for tall? So we'll start with tall. What do you got? Anything? Or I'll look to the them and to the best. I will say <coughs> you had another who left before. And I'll point to the section of the rooftop where I saw that flashing light from a, the gentleman that I saw up there. And I'll just look at them inquisitively. That'd be you, Dave. Oh, uh, slept here. since then. <laughs> he went to the north, and I point in the direction of the north. Hmm. I will. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ingve asks time, like <clears throat> pointing to sky, like day, night, that he saw, I guess. Yeah, After three, three moons pass, Buffalo. Three moons roll. pass, yeah. Buffalo. Roll. <laughs> yeah. Dave, Dave kind of wants to stroll over toward the edge and look over down into the streets and see what's going on down there. Not over the edge, just toward the edge. Sure. Nothing. Not a zero zilch. Remember, there is some kind of zombie dragon wyvern mother hanging around, but you don't see it right. either. The skies are blue. No rain in sight. It's a wonderful day. You got a new friend, maybe Mr. Rogers, uh, maybe Mr. McFeely. You aren't sure yet. <laughs> nice. <coughs> um, when nice. did you come here? And I'll point around. Um, <coughs> two, two days pass. Is that correct, Frank? Two days? Mm -hmm. Two days. <coughs> Oh, yeah. Murder Hobo Con, folks. Oh, yeah. We forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, to mention How did we forget that? Stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two, two days. Tall looks kind of pensively for a moment. You have seen the dead, the walk, then? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And we have the experienced their joys, per se. And the lizard that takes to the sky. We've run into that too. <laughs> the dragon? I give you a confused look. Like maybe I don't know what that word is. Yes, the sky lizard. <laughs> Hillbillies. <huh? laughs> <laughs> Ingve's like, well, that's what I'm going to do. You know, remember, I'm a public school system kind of guy. You know? Yeah, as I went to private school, by the way, just, <laughs> just so everyone knows. Dave's gonna, Dave's gonna flop down on the on the roof and like open his bundle so he can get out some rations and eat a little bit. Sure. Uh, you you will still not see anything. Uh, the longer you guys stay, are you going to stay on the rooftop or go back into the hotel? Or go across the street to where Tal was at. <coughs> or go toward where Rakir went. Or you it's still daylight, so you can travel. We could travel and see if we can catch up to Rakir. Uh, I'm for not being here, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, Tal, we are going to see if we can find our companion though I'm not very positive we'll find him might find pieces I'll look over to the dead body the one that's similarly dressed to myself mm -hmm. you helped kill 
Kelvin. I will go with you. Um, the north, and I point in the same direction I pointed before, is where they come from. You may see more of them. By Kelvin. Correct. Yeah, I point again to the dead body and I actually walk over. You guys see that I limp slightly, like maybe I've been injured recently. You see there's some bandaging around my thigh and I'll move over to the body and I pull back his hood, revealing his kind of grotesque features. Looks um, just like tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is something grotesque. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but tall has horns. Mm -hmm. uh, this one doesn't. You can see where there used to be horns. Uh, but much like a goat, they've been burned off at some point in time. You also notice big tusks. Well, not big tusks, but large tusks, incisors uh, that kind of hang out. Tall does not have this. Tall's been to an orthodontist. That's right. <laughs> Very important with my people. <laughs> right. Um, and I point to the guy, the guy and I say, <clears throat> Kelvin Raider. Uh Raiders. Love Azari, Raiders. Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Azari, social Democrat. <laughs> Dave, Houston Oilers. Ingve, <laughs> uh, yeah. just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> the Ravens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Ingve, Switzerland. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so tell us we're headed in a direction. Now, Tal, uh, hmm? just just one point of order. Yes, you're pointing to the area that you came from, right? I I arrived in the city through the by from the west. Correct. Yeah. So, well, the southwest, because on the map that I sent, south is up. So I see. Okay. South is up. <clears throat> north is so, down. Yeah, north and I did not explain down. that. That's my bad. Okay. But he he is pointing to the south uh, through the alley. Uh, where you guys dealt with. And that is allegedly where he came from. The north would be behind you, the bottom of the map. Um, but I, yeah, I didn't explain that very well. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> we'll get there. Yeah. So, uh, yes, you guys can climb down uh, through the auto parts store that Tall came through to climb up to get there. Uh, or you guys can go back into the hotel and go down through that way. Your choice. Or hang out, barbecue pigeons on the roof. Let's uh, let's go through the auto parts store. Okay, uh, you have the the structure, the small structure there. Uh, Tall can lead the way because he actually came through there. Uh, you'll find that it's a set of stairs, curves down, and then there's a ladder, and you can climb down. And you're in a structure unlike any you three have seen since the island. Uh, it's it has very straight lines, and there's a lot of unusual items that you have no idea what it is. Tall will not know what these things are either. Uh, safe to assume out of game, uh, air filters, carburetor parts, license plate uh, decor, and things of that nature. <clears throat> mm. Is there any air fresheners? Car air fresh? <laughs> there are. <laughs> there is a forest of green pine trees over on one wall and you are attracted to that aroma because mm. it smells of the forest that mm. Peck Peck is from. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like someone being bludgeoned by Dave. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I like that smell. Now, downstairs, uh, it used to have a giant picture window ages ago that trashed out it's just a wide opening and you guys get a a just a slight breeze as it goes through the canyon uh between the buildings hmm. <clears throat> so no walking dead about none that you can see well i would like to go to the opening and look around uh you look where you first made your entry point you see the scattered dead from where the zombie dragon wyvern destroyed most of them you look to the left you see the ones that i think you and rock or ingve and rock or azari and rock destroyed 
and then you notice the alley, uh, the path between the large buildings on either side extends for essentially two blocks. But no, no sign of <clears throat> the walking dead. Nope, that is a trademarked option, uh, copyright. So no, no walking dead. No dead zombies. walking. Now, <clears throat> the building that Tall was in is in relatively good condition, and it extends all the way down the block. Beyond the auto parts place, there's a big open area with some more of those square homes, taxis that you found, uh, and then crumbly buildings on the left. So you can dive into those in case the walking dead come by, or you can dive into the uh, decent buildings. Uh, but it, crossing that open area, which is a parking lot, uh, eh, it's going to be hit or miss. <clears throat> well, let's continue through the let's continue through the nicer buildings. Okay. Now, if anybody was still hurt, I will have assumed that you had a short rest, so you okay. can recover anything that you need. Uh, as you go to the right, uh, there are sigils, lettering. Uh, you don't recognize the words at all. Uh, some letters are missing, so you wouldn't. Tall, you will point out that the first building on the right is where uh, you were hiding out from the things that were chasing you. You will have investigated it, not completely, uh, but fairly well. You found a dead body. You found the shotgun. You found the shells that you had. Uh, other than that, uh, a lot of death. None of it really moving, though. Be beyond that is a building that looks like the first building that you guys went in, i.e. a hotel. It is elongated with a lot of those opaque openings, a.k.a. windows. Uh, to the left are all smaller buildings, one floor, all in pretty bad condition. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Good roll to start. Uh, 19 from Tall. Uh, yeah. 26. Um, 8 for Dave. Uh, 16 for Ingve. Dave, you have no clue what's going on. Azari, uh, Ingve, and Tal, there is a disturbance. Uh, it's a metal can sound. Uh, you would not know that it's a metal can, but it's that kind of noise in one of the uh, disturbing buildings on the left. Is it a recurring noise, or does it just sound like something was kicked or moved? It, it sounds like something fell and then... Rrr, 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 rrr. Uh, Tall will remove his flail from his side and his shield off of his back and readies himself just in case. And then I'll turn to Azari and say, why did you come to Mayo? The clinic? No. Uh, we were... <laughs> <laughs> we are here to seek help for our... for my sister. Keep in mind, everybody, Tall knows stuff that you don't, and you know stuff Tall doesn't. Mm -hmm. We are here seeking uh, medicines, people to help. Something may find us first. It has at least once. <laughs> That's part of our... <laughs> charm you could call it we have a habit of that <laughs> now also noticed uh when you guys heard the noise dave you didn't hear it because you were looking down and one of those round metal thingies were in the middle of this block black lava road right but yeah the noise is across the street in one of the dilapidated buildings dave sees a manhole cover uh, and you guys are apparently in your or Mayo. You aren't sure which now. There, that may be, I say, like gesturing my head over towards the sound. That may be another Kelvin Raider. 
A loud crash is heard from the same building. <laughs> Dave, Dave perks up at the thought of smashing another Kelvin Raider. <laughs> <laughs> and Tall will slowly start creeping towards it. Huh? You guys cross the open street in daylight, get to the other side. Are you fanning out or single file? Uh, fanning out. Okay. Uh, as you come Boy. close to this doorway, uh, you notice a, a little tiny mouse, little small mouse, uh, exit the building at a high rate of speed and turns right back where you guys came from, hauling the mail. Uh, everybody insight check on a mouse. <laughs> What's my minus? Oh, wait, is insight wisdom? It is oh, yes. wisdom, yeah. 23. 22 for the druid. <laughs> uh, uh, 16 for tall. 10. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, Azari, you will not uh surmise this the other three will surmise that such a tiny creature could not possibly have made such a loud noise unless there was a lego structure with pans on it. Uh, good old metal legos yeah so azari is unfazed he doesn't care dave doesn't care either he's, he's kind of hopeful that something else is going to come out Okay. As you guys get close to the doorway, you can see in the dim light, because it's indoors, uh, that there are two globes, two large globes hanging from the ceiling, uh, and they seem to be swaying a little bit. Uh, they are not illuminated, uh, and on the floor... Uh, ah, he's faker. Yeah, yeah there, there's there's a lot of debris uh, and at least one rotting corpse just inside. Mm. Tall would like to use his divine sense to see if any of the walking, I'm sorry, the dead that walk would be within this building before we go in there. Nope. Is that mouse? Still within sight, or it is long it, gone. It went around the corner. Oh, okay. All right. Another clatter is heard inside the building. You yeah, don't see nothing. Don't see shit other than a lot of debris and a dead body and the two globes, lights swinging from the ceiling. And, and they are perceptively. I mean, you can see them moving, so you can't really draw any conclusions from that. But there you go. So. I'll say, right. yeah, not the dead that walk. Let's see who our, uh, let's see who the loud person is. Okay. Who wants to go in first? Dave, say hi. <clears throat> Dave, as you walk in the door, uh, it's, it's kind of a kill zone. Uh, this would be a convenience store. So you have to go from point A to point B. There's no offshoot initially. Uh, and right in the middle is a dead body. Uh, and its chest is just totally blown out. How, how long dead? Day? Maybe. Uh, you can long. put on your white tank top and do the CSI thing, uh, but it's about a day old. What? Mm. Cover those pecs? No way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call them pecs. <laughs> I'll, look, I'll, I'll look to to Tall and I say <laughs> with a, like an inquisitive voice, Kelvin? Pointing to the cor corpse, was the Kelvin do this? He'll have to go in. Yeah, it seems as though someone let uh, this the body, ball. someone let the wind out. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, just gets a pair of shaders out and puts yeah. them on. <laughs> Yeah. And off he goes holy moly <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah the dead uh, body's a ginger named David Caruso <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Tom will stealthily yeah. move in behind Dave okay uh, Dave you can step over the corpse let oh, Tom yeah. look around uh, 
Ingve and Azari. You guys, I assume, are watching left, right? Yeah. My head's on my danger swim, danger yeah. sense swivel. So they uh, got that cloud out looks there like mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tall, you notice the wound. Give me a medicine check. Yeah, I can do that. So plus two, uh, fourteen. This was this damage to the individual was caused by the boomstick. Mm. You, you've seen it used before on friends, countrymen. Yes. Lending them your ears. Uh, this was a boomstick. This is a human being. Uh, not Keldon. Uh, not Tall's race. Uh, certainly not Leonid. But just a human. Uh, the individual has a bag next to him that is empty. Dave? The noise is coming from the back left. Uh, I'm headed right there. Head, you have a couple of avenues there. Think about being in CVS. So you can go down the antiseptic aisle or the booze aisle. Doesn't matter to me. Booze aisle, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, were there other choices for him to make? I know. <laughs> Hopefully Dave would find out there was booze. Yeah. Well, you pass by a variety of strange containers, glass, uh, that contain uh, not full fluids, because, you know, condensation and shit like that. Um, as you pass by, the noise is now constant. It, there's something something <clears throat> going on in the corner. I'm going to uh, arrow in directly on it. Okay. Uh, Dave, Tal, you can still see the top of Dave, mm -hmm. uh, but he is getting uh, away from you a whole lot faster. He is moving quickly. And you've got Ingve and Azari uh, piled in behind you on the door. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll continue in behind <laughs> Dave, trying to move into a position. I'm moving very stealthily. They'll notice, even though I have a bunch of different armaments, like different scraps of armors that make up what I'm wearing. I'm still moving, trying to move relatively stealthily. But sure. Dave is not attempting to move stealthily. Yeah, Dave does not. So yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Plus all, hunting game. all the better. Good, good choice. Uh, Dave's only missing symbols. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, I've got that whole bag of weapons on my bed. Just clank, yeah. clank, clank, clank. <laughs> he sounds like a 1960s mower at this point. <laughs> uh, Azari and Ingve, uh, you see Tall move off the body and move into the darkness. Um, uh, Ingve uh, uh, turns to Azari and he's just like, uh, I should follow after them just in case you go first i'll go yeah. to the rear okay uh you guys go in you see a, a big hole in the dead body's chest you guys have not come across or you guys have not come across such an injury you are unfamiliar with it uh but it is the boomstick that caused it uh you can see and hear dave clanking his way a couple aisles over uh, and you can see, you see just the top of Tall's head because he's going in silently or as stealthy, stealthily as he can. Right. So they are they have moved forward and down. Uh, there's dividers, aka shelves, in between. They passed by the first one, so if you want to flank, you can, or you can fall in behind Tall and give me a nice straight line for the dragon to shoot at you. Right. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, flank. Like, okay. Yeah. Uh, Azari, you go in and you see Ingve not give two shits about the dead body. He's going in to the left, and Dave is almost to the far side of the building by now. Okay. I'll just continue behind, uh, following behind Ingve, just uh, taking it slow, watching behind us to see if and to make sure if anybody is trying to sneak up behind us instead of since we're all in a row. Sure. Uh, Dave, uh, with caution thrown to the wind, you move swiftly down this aisle. You pass by all these strange bottles. You get to the end. Everybody hears ding, 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 ding. Uh, and Dave, give me an investigation check as you move into the source of the uh, damage. Oh, not bad. Uh, 17. Uh, it's a cat eating half a mouse. Uh, but you heard the ding ding. You don't know where it's at. I didn't get a directional sense from the ding ding. Damn it. 
Up above. Up. Ingve, Azari, and Tall, you also heard the noise. You are not in a good position, so you know it's that way, which is headed back towards your hotel. So you guys went in and to the left. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Dave, uh, the cat looks at you, drops the half a mouth, hisses at you, uh, and then grabs the mouse head and jets down the third aisle. Bye, kitty. That way. No other dinging. Uh, also, a lot of debris. The shelves have been ransacked. There's a lot of debris here. Um, but there are still some items on the shelf. Is there a passageway that maybe continues towards uh, an additional section of the, of the room, of the building, of like a back entryway or back room <clears throat> or something? There seems to be a door and then like a metal wall with slats this way horizontal slats set in the wall mm. aka the pharmacy tall as you approach uh you come up to where dave is ding 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 anyway oh. and azari you also hear it you're getting closer you don't understand it we don't understand it but he in face trying to match the direction is going to start Ingve, it could be similar to the uh, to the wailing sound when we were uh, in the other building in the other structure um, back when we brought our people back when we were going towards our people or bring our people home. The structure made noises when we went through an entryway. We Dave and I destroyed it, but <laughs> as we thought it was an alarm. That was the right. alarm. Yeah, yeah. didn't Ingve and Rakir hear it, or were we the ones that set it off? Everybody heard it. No, it was Azari yeah. and Dave, and then Dave went ape shit on the bell. That's uh, it. That's it. Kevin, uh, for purposes, they were on the island with the hydroelectric dam and walked into a building that was protected by uh, some alarm company, and they set off the alarm, and... Dave and Azari went ape shit on the bell. <laughs> As I, one would. I, I, I tell Azari, it's, it, I agree, it doesn't sound natural. So, so I'm inclined to believe him. It's happened twice. So our best guess would be that both Dave and Tall have gone through an entryway. Everybody here is right. scratching. From the door, on the, the door. other side of the door, of the pharmacy door mm. with the metal slats. Not, not, not the metal slats, the door. They oh. left the, 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 window, the yeah. door behind. Is there us. one of those? Is there one of those see through things on the door? Mm -hmm. I want to walk over and I want to walk over and see if I can see through it. There's a strange individual. Uh, but you've seen yourself in enough water that you realize it is a duplication of you. So clearly it's a doppelganger. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hit the window with my great, great club. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, boy. There's our stealth rolls guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. I, I, I rolled a 17. So that'd Ooh. be a, like a 23. I ah, suppose yeah, I might hit it. Yeah, it's a stationary door. I don't think yeah. it's going to be that high a roll. Yeah, really not. Not that's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, high door. <laughs> the DC for the for the door is like thirty. Seven, seven, and <laughs> <door is 11. laughs> eleven. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Oh yeah, the window's only yay big. So yeah, yeah you you shatter that shit out, uh, and now it, it's just darkness because there's no windows on that side. Um, but at least that ugly SOB face is gone. Right. I'm just going to walk up and kind of look in. All right. Uh, by this dark vision to try and see something in there, maybe. Sure. Azari and Ingve, I assume you continue forward. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you give me intelligence checks as the dinging goes off. Uh, 17. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> 11. Uh, Azari's not getting it, but Ingve, you notice that now that you're up next to Tall, one, 
two, three, four. You're all in the same area. Uh, for lack of a better term, you're thinking it's a proximity notice. Uh, Dave, after bashing the door and blowing everybody's stealth, leans in. Blocking out the light. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 17 plus two. Yeah, that'll hit. A green arm reaches out and whoosh, rakes your face. <laughs> For three hit points of damage, uh, uh, this green arm is extending out, trying to okay. grab him again. Everybody gonna... roll initiative. Initiative. Ooh. 18. Se- 17 for tall. Ooh, nat 20 plus 7, 27. Nice. What was yours, Ingve? Uh 14. Got it. Uh, Nat 20, uh, Azari, you've got your bow out. You see this arm come out. You see Dave with the old rapist face going on. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I will fire at the arm. Please be a one. Please be a wow. one. Please be one. <laughs> <laughs> I already took damage. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's probably, that probably misses. Uh, 13. Yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is... even with the cover and bonus, uh, that still hits a zombie. Uh, that is twelve points of piercing damage. Um, a shriek is heard, and I get a second attack. One, um, one, one, one. <laughs> uh, no, that one's a seventeen. Oh yeah, that'll hit. And it does another. Uh, Four, eight, uh, another. Oops, come on. Another twelve points of piercing damage. Uh, Dave, uh, goo is oozing out of this creature at a very vast rate. You had the eighteen. You are now up. Oh, I uh, want to grab the arm. That's my boy, <laughs> and just give it a righteous yank. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and pull whatever it is right through that little hole. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, 17. Yeah, you pull it. Now give me a uh, strength roll. D20 plus strength bonus. Mm-hmm. A tube of toothpaste. <laughs> 19 plus 4, 23. You've successfully pulled its arm off and now wield its right arm as a weapon. Uh, tall. You aren't sure what you've hooked up with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, it's, but it's your turn. There's several thoughts that go through my mind. <laughs> I, <Dave. laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I quickly look around the room to see if we are alone or not, besides just the one that he is now encountering. Sure. Give me an investigation check. Yep. Uh, 13 plus uh, 13. Yep. You guys are alone. Okay. You can't um, even see that cat, which is somewhere with the mouse's head. <laughs> um, I will. Um, the, the 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 thing that he has attacked is still uh, alive on the other side of the door. Mm. Well, not alive, <laughs> but it's still moving around. Or is it just did it drop when the arm got ripped off? Or you don't hear anything from the other I side see. of the door. Okay, I will hold my action in case another enemy appears. Already sure. an attack if another enemy comes out. Goes to you, Ingve. Uh Ingve is gonna turn his staff into the totem and okay. um uh, a hawk appears at the end of his staff and it's a hawk spirit. So uh everybody in the party is going to get um uh, let's see, uh they can use uh their reactions to get advantage on attack rolls. So. Okay. Wow. Nice. Okay. Okay. Mm. Like that. Uh, round ends with me going last. Uh, no noises heard from beyond. Azari, 20. <clears throat> oh, they also have keen sight. <laughs> well, love it. Let's open that door. 
it is locked. Mm. Let's hit the door with a great club. <laughs> Dave, open the door. <laughs> Are you going to use it the back club or the zombie arm? Neither. I'm going to drop the zombie arm and I'm going to grab that opening and use it to pull on the door. D12 against me. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I knew the risk. I can't wait for it to eat your fingers. Yeah, it cuts all your fingers off. Yeah. Six. Uh, three, uh, you did manage to smash out all the fragmented glass, so there will not be cutting. Give me a strength roll, please. Uh, 17, 21. Uh, with a mighty roar, you cause it to partially open up. Uh, the top half is stuck out a little bit more, but the deadbolt is still in place. I'll just keep yanking on it, but you know, next time. Uh, Tall, what are you doing? Seeing what he's doing, I realize nothing's really jumped out. They would have jumped out by this time, I would think. Um, you said there were some slats um, in the metal parts of the wall. They yep. are pretty intact. There's no holes around them, or they don't open. Seem to be nope. About six feet, six feet wide, about four feet high. Okay, I will. Um, I'll step forward. I'll try to aid him in pulling the door open. So you grab him by the waist. Yes, <laughs> from behind. Yeah, very tenderly. You know, ah, uh, the reach around. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Rock here. Nothing, make, oh. nothing makes Dave move faster <laughs> than the reach around. That's it. <laughs> Inve, what do you want to do? Uh, I left my ass off at these. <laughs> these Whoa, chuckleheads. We, this guy's funny. <laughs> funny. Got some weird customs in this world. Oh, yeah, oh, it's just like. Uh, um, this is why I don't I, go to the I'm, south. I'm meaning concentration <laughs> for for the totem, so so they'll okay they keep that going. Yeah, you know. but I'm uh, keeping an eye out for anything you know. Sure, that comes uh, through uh, or from behind. So. Uh, that would be tall. That would be uh, tall. <laughs> uh, Azari, uh, as we've all pointed out, strange customs by uh, Tall's people. Uh, what do you want to do? I'll go in and I'll look in, like arrow, like bow pointed, arrowed up. Well, now like, he's, trying he's, to got look his, in. he's got his hand on the window. Okay. So there's no point like that's broken up enough where I can look in. Or oh, you want to look from the edge? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Azari D12, Dave yeah. D12. Uh, 2008. Five. Uh, good news, uh, Azari, as you peek in uh, with your keen sight added, uh, you can see a body missing an arm is down on the ground. Uh, seemingly, it has expired. You assume it's the zombie that you shot at. Bad news is uh, you hear Dave grunt loudly, yank the door open as you're leaning in. <laughs> oh, no. And you're going to take a D4 to the face. Oh. One hit point of damage. It's only Dave elbow. <laughs> as the reach around has had its desired effect, and Dave is able to yank the door off the head. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Climax. So, you guys, uh, Tall and Dave, kind of ring backwards. Dino, dino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the door is off its hinges on the on the deck. Uh, Ingve, casual view. Azari. Uh, intently looking, Dave and Tall on their butts looking. You see the dead body, no right arm, uh, and a lot of small, strange urns about yay big uh, on the floor everywhere. Uh, <coughs> and the body is still moving, or it's nope, still body's not moving. Yeah, all, I'm gonna all of its goo is hanging out. I'm gonna put two arrows in its head just to be safe, and then double tap retrieve them. <laughs> That's it. Retrieve my arrows and just be like, okay. Then I'll go. Don't forget to look. do the D twenty on your re- arrow retrieval. Any ah, one yes. you lose. No thirteen. So you are going into the room. Uh yes, I'm gonna pull out my short swords <laughs> and walk into the room just in case. Uh, I'll have to get up and follow Azari. Okay. As you guys go in, this room's pitch dark. There's no windows whatsoever. Okay. Uh, no lights to speak of at this point in time uh and as you look around there, there's a lot of shelves on the wall 
Most of them are empty. The contents are strewn all about. Uh, you see small tablets uh, scattered everywhere. Some are blue, uh, some are white, some are yellow. Uh, empty little urns of an unusual substance, plastic, uh, plastic pill bottles. Uh, other than that, there's pills on the floor, empty pill bottles, empty shelves, useless paperwork, uh, and one, one white coat hanging on a hook. Mm. Spotless, immaculate. <laughs> mm. um, Dave, you should put this coat on. You can see, uh, I have heard tales of stories of fat guy in a little coat. It would be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is it has made many a jest in the, <laughs> in those stories <laughs> and the regaled my childhood <laughs> the legends are phenomenal d12 against me dave if you're gonna try it on i'm just i'm just wondering if my arms will even fit in the sleeves uh that's a three that's a 10 no this is a very small coat uh, it has sigils on a small uh embroidered patch uh you do not know this but the sigils spell out the word melinda looks like it's ingve size right so probably if he's smaller <laughs> ingve um i i check it out can i, can I smell it do i just, <laughs> how does it smell? look look it has magic words oh. it's got uh, two pockets on it too <laughs> what double well, pockets? pockets what uh okay i'll look at the sigils am i able to discern what a woman's garment with pockets no. okay inconceivable yeah i don't think you are using that word right <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't think it means what you think it, think it means, means. <laughs> yeah Want to check the pockets or put it on or just yeah sniff i'm it. gonna i'm gonna check the pockets <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Smells like uh, Maybelline. <laughs> well, I mean, if somebody like other than Dave, where I know Dave's scent, but you know, so the, one of the pockets has a dart in it, but the tip of the dart is covered in some opaque covering. Oh, okay. And uh, I'll pull it out and look at it. It's about yay long. This end looks like it plunges. There's a bluish fluid in it. And then, of course, the needle area is covered. Oh, and I'm like... Uh, it's a hypodermic needle. I'm looking the safety like, dart is the uh, dart. The safety I, I pick it up and it's like uh, similar to Rakir's dart. Yes. Okay. He well, would I, cheat for this dart. Holding it for everybody to see. That can see it, I guess. Mm. What is yeah. that? Uh, dart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I look at it. Uh, liquid inside. Yep, it moves. Um, I'm going to hold it up and spell it. I'm doing the druid thing with sense. I mean, does it smell like uh, it doesn't smell like anything. Or anything? Okay. Well, just take awesome. it. What's the worst that could happen? Sure. <laughs> to actually stab yourself and get yourself <laughs> rabies or Directly something. Directly into your heart. That's right. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. It's an <laughs> Let's do the Pulp Fiction. This is yeah. an yeah. adrenaline shot. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give it to nice. Dave. Dave will drink well, anything. You know, if it is, if one of you goes down, yeah. could be useful. There we could go. Be useful. Dave's yeah. gonna rage times two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it, uh, it's a it's a syringe full of speed. Give it to Dave. Is That's there right. anything else inside the, the pockets? Just some papers, just... but you don't know what they say. Okay. Okay. Keys or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um yeah, I'll hold I'll pocket the dart. <laughs> sure. Uh now there are tiny pills. Uh, down on the floor. Some have been crushed, clearly stepped on. Uh, some have survived. Um, Dave stepped on a lot of them. 
Yeah, white, blue, and yellow. Hmm. Uh, I, Other than that, there doesn't appear to be anything in here. I point to Tall and, and our motion to the pills on the floor. Do you know what this is? M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Yeah. Tall will move over to them and he'll crouch down. He'll pick up a few and he'll look at them. Seeds? Could be seeds. Ingvay shakes his, his head knowing like Possibly. <laughs> I'll scoop some up. Just a, a handful of just an assortment of different colors. I scoop them up and I put them in a little pouch on my belt. Uh, give me an odd even for your first roll. Odd even of which die? Any die. Thank you. Any die? Uh, odd. Uh, you pick up one white. Give me a D10. Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, you get three yellows and give me a D12. Five. You get five of the blues. Cool. Are uh, there are several of the bottles? Are they intact? They're they intact, like but they're empty. They're empty. Okay. Well, even in an apocalypse, many people manage to get in past the childproof lids. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So danger seems to be gone. Yeah, there's nothing moving Ooh. in this place, Very including great. the lights. The globes have stopped. Uh, also, you do not see a way up because it's only one floor here. Sure. sure. <laughs> um was there a storage room or something like that? Do we see like another door? You guys have just walked in and walked to the left. You haven't investigated there's a the kitty. Next section. Yeah, there's a cat in here somewhere. Okay. All right. It's a puma. puma. <laughs> Dave, Dave would call that a kitty too. <laughs> okay. Goddamn mountain lion in your back seat. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking be deer bit me on the neck. Oh. <laughs> Uh, um, Tall will look to everybody and say, Mayo is city of legend of tales, odd things will be here. Why seeds inside is strange. Um. Is there anything with like uh, any kind of uh, papers or anything with like discernible iconography on it or, or whatever? Uh, I mean, you should mention that uh, when you entered in the building, uh, there was a selection of periodicals uh, with a lot of pictures on them. That would be your best bet for that. Ooh. Okay. Dave, Dave, Dave looks at tall, like, like ser very seriously and says, Strange, magic words everywhere. Right, uh, a lot basic, of words. Basically, yes. I'm looking for anything that might look like a hazard card. Not that I would know what it is, but just something, just to see something, you know. Mister yeah. Yuck stickers. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Azari's gonna take like a big like sniff to like, does this smell like? If he's he's trying to get that, if it's. If it'd be seeds, there'd be like that earthen, that earthy kind of right. And I'm like Home Depot, he's like, it. yep, nope. There's none of that in here. Yeah, I'm not. This is all that. very artificial, manufactured smell. It's like a yeah. dry kind of. Okay. Okay. These are not so, seeds. So everybody, roll a d20 for me. Right. Oh, 16. 15. Yep, yeah, you see that look on my face, Frank? You can imagine what I rolled. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> Roll a one. <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Nobody finds anything of interest in here. Okay. Mm. These are made things, not, not natural. Not seeds, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave wants to go back three. out in the other place after Azari yeah. says that. He's like, oh, okay. Let's go. 
Yeah, let's saying, go yeah, check yeah. out the periodicals. Is that Reader's yeah. Digest? Yeah, there, there we go. Something called the National Enquirer. Yeah, I was going to say, is Bat Boy on the cover? Yeah. Everybody, Nash- roll a, everybody roll a straight up D20. I want to get a National Geographic. See if I can. Uh oh. 13. 6. 10. Ooh. 15. 15's my high number. Uh, there's a collection of maps. Oh, oh nice. And it has the word. It has those sigils on it. May. Mayo or your. Much like the uh, metal circles in the uh, Black Lava River. The Mm. streets. We'll start mm. looking at the map, seeing if we can uh, see if we can discern like where we started uh, sure. from the maybe where like the black ra- lava thing would be. If there's like a an area that would show like a tunnel, and then where we might be in the in the general vicinity. So, seeing sure. that the the eggheads are looking at things, Dave will scout the perimeter of the building inside, looking inside? for doors and things. Sure, give me a D twenty roll. Sure. Uh, that's a 19. You find a nice. neck pillow. <laughs> oh, nice. I love those things. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> Tall. <I> probably... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> Ibe and Azari give me survival checks. Ooh. I believe Dave is passed out in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so <Nice>. comfy. <laughs> Dave's wearing uh, it as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I got a natural 20 for a 22. Uh, nice. 15 for Ingve. Oh. Uh, 18 plus 5, 23. Azari and Ingve, as, as you guys hold this rather large piece of paper up, it folds. Uh, likely you guys are not going to fold it back correctly. But anyway, right. uh, <laughs> can you ever really? You know, yeah, yeah. You, two, you two find the tunnel area and a picture, an inset picture of that metal person that you guys were touching the feet of uh so you look there and you can kind of triangulate it tall you know exactly where you're at and you know how you came in here uh just by this thing now there's a handful of maps so if each one of you wants to take one i don't care uh there's a couple other periodicals uh, you know, National, uh, not National Geographic. What's the one that does all the archaeology stuff? Um, Smithsonian. Yeah, the Smithsonian magazine oh, yeah. is there, and yeah. then you know the rags, the Inquirer stuff like uh, that. I'll Ingve, I'll take them out. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna take one too. I'm gonna Go do a search yeah. for that cat if I see it. Sure. Uh, you notice Dave is just wearing some kind of weird headgear. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then each one of you have email. Oh, okay. So you can look at it now or later. It's simply a map of the city. I'll take the uh, I'll take the Smithsonian, as it's interesting to see pictures of like treasure. <laughs> of treasures. Like, yeah, it's a pictures of treasures and a culture that's not his own. Uh, there's a particularly interesting story about uh, some waterborne vessel that's very large but seems to be underwater. It's a bronze crab, right? Yes. <laughs> Intriguing. A, uh, the bronze crab is one of my favorites. That they could see vessel, that they could see ships underwater after it's already sank. That would take many, many breathers of water. Intriguing. Dave, give me another uh, D20. Uh, 15. Uh, You find some slippers. D12 against me. Four. Five. Uh, If you take your boots off, they'll fit. They're they're kind of soft. (laughs) (laughs) You don't think they'll offer much protection. But as you look down at them, they look like bunnies. 
<laughs> Please take your boots off and put them yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, put the bunny slippers on. <laughs> He's wearing Dave, bunny slippers. I get that they're slippers, so I'll just destroyer your, of all them bunny slippers. <laughs> your yeah. feet and the top of your head feel so different. <laughs> Dave basically wears Roman sandals, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, this, this is a step up. Yeah, yeah they got those yeah. rubber treads on them. So yeah. right. and, and the next they're fuzzy. Days, they're going to be great. <laughs> All the blood and guts are probably going to be bad. All right, uh, gentlemen, let's salvage anything we can. They have no life transitory. And leave. Okay. Uh, Ingve, you find the cat. It is done eating, uh, and it has hacked up some of the mouse. Oh, okay. Oh, lovely. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I, I am going to use beast speech and. Uh, Talk to the cat. Sure. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Uh, yeah. First, I try to get its uh, confidence. I I say words or whatever to try to soothe it and that spook it. So, persuasion. Okay. Try <coughs> uh, Persuasion. Uh, fifteen. It doesn't seem to be scared of you. Okay. Uh, I can. I can. Are you wearing talking. that white coat? I. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> right. That must be why then. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I. Um, uh, yeah. I asked the the cat how long it's been here. I don't have a calendar. <laughs> okay. No, no. I mean, like long time, short time. Uh, it will convey to you that it goes from building to building, uh, finding food sources. Hmm. Um, where do you find uh, most most of your food? Um, and uh, large dead creatures that walk. Have you seen them? Oh, I've seen them. I've them. Okay. All right. Fuck All those right. guys. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I usually lick my balls and then I wander away. <laughs> right, right. Well, they're not here anymore. Where do they go when they're not not visible? Uh, they hide in different buildings. Hide in different buildings. At night, they come out. Okay. Mm. And like every other cat, then it I just turns and walks away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just <laughs> it's, like, it's done. It's with done me. with you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, that's good to know. I mean, we, we, we verify that these things come out at night. So yeah. Now, as you guys gather together after Ingve uh, is speaking with animals, you notice that Dave has fuzzy bunny slippers on and a dumbass looking hat. Yeah. <laughs> now, what color is my head neck pillow hat? Uh, I'll make it taupe. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> It was almost an ass pillow. <laughs> Beige, the color so of the better. universe. <laughs> That's right. The color of power. <laughs> Very wow. tan, beige, topish. It, nice. it just broods confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave, point, Dave is going to point out his bunny slippers to everybody. They are well aware that you <laughs> yeah. of your yeah. change. <laughs> but you know what? I'll give you plus one. On stealth with wearing those things because they nice. sound like your nice. boots. Nice. Yeah, that hard yeah. slap of that rawhide sole on my sandals is probably a lot louder. You seem comfortable, Dave. <laughs> That's it. Dave Toe Soft. And you can see the bunny's nose wiggling as do- Dave wiggles his toes inside the slipper. <laughs> From Azari who doesn't and, wear shoes. <laughs> and, the, and the eyes are the yeah. googly eyes. Yeah. 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 The nice. ears are like, <laughs> Jesus! Oh man! How was your D and D game? I gave him pink bunny slippers. Give him pink bunny slippers and drugs. Yeah. Yeah. We got maps, we, random we got, drugs. Yeah, yeah, you know. I got a uh, magazine about the Smithsonian. I'm set. There we yeah, go. Yeah. If somebody had pressed digitation, I could keep these bunny slippers forever. You probably could. <laughs> I'm a druid. <laughs> so. Magic initiate feet. Damn it. Hey. Right. So, uh, has gotten some good information from the local alley cat. Mm-hmm. So, you know, okay. I, I think all in all, this building 
uh, has been quite a success for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I I tell them I inform the others what the cat had told me that the uh, dead usually take shelter during the day in random buildings, so we have to be extra careful if we explore any more of the buildings. And I'll tell them that the injury that the dead guy took on the floor, the hole in his chest, is caused by the sticks that make fire. And nice. Mm -hmm. So you guys are learning shit left and right here. Love it. Oh, Dave, yeah. Dave, Dave kind of questioningly reaches back and pulls it out and looks at it. Uh, like give swings me a, it. Swings it a little club like. D12. Holding the wooden part. As he's swinging it around, oh, you are, instinctively you are, takes a I'm step I'm holding back. the wooden part. You, you're holding the wood, then you don't need to roll. Okay. <laughs> I still I still take a step back out of the direction he's pointing it. And step Dave, right Dave behind. Dave cannot me. fathom. <laughs> yeah, Ingvay remembers what that hole. thing did. So <laughs> I'm, I, I'm following Tal's lead and stepping back. Everybody's yeah. stepping behind Azari. Because <laughs> he's reading this magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Pulls the magazine yeah. down. Dave just, uh, I'm swinging the boomstick, just raises it back up. Oops, gonna oops, oops. If I'm going to die, I don't want to know what's coming. <laughs> you guys have spent a good hour, hour and a half, maybe inside this building. Uh, still daylight, mid afternoon. Uh, nobody's out on the street. A uh, couple of birds up in the air, but nothing bad. I'm going to. Um, rustle around in my bag and pull out three, <coughs> three dried fish and toss them toward the cat. <laughs> Producer had a question on your items that you found. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a Smithsonian magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing here? It's a different kind of architecture than that other one. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Uh, Dave said he threw fish to the cat. So. Yep. Okay. So the cat doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> cat might want it later. You plan go to north after friend to see if he survived. Yeah. Dave, yeah. Dave, go with Azari and Ingve. Yeah, I I say to Azari, I, say, I think we should should try to find Rakir. Yeah. Head north out of the <clears throat> Sure. You guys uh, go out. Now, did anybody open the map yet? Yeah. yeah I did. I, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are in the area on the high left that's all grayed out. Uh, you, okay. you, have, you have like a gray and then a gray uh, part there. You are to the firm buildings to the left. Uh, so you're, you're getting close to the edge of town. Uh, your hotel was the first one there and uh folks at home we'll go ahead and figure out how to put the map up on our screen for you uh but as you continue on north uh there's a gap between the buildings on the right uh everything on the left appears to be uh charred as if uh, a fire has spread through this area uh there's a set of yellow colored doors on the largest building on the right Yellow doors? Yep. Like brass. Ooh. Oh, this, okay. this was where me and other Stygian bolts met battle. I not gone past here before. Oh. How you come here? He took the bus <laughs> from my homeland. Uh, where is your homeland? Like in a point directing, you know, comp compass points. <laughs> around well, us. if I'm understanding what Frank said earlier, I point to the west, which to you guys would be the east. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, I say, and I say to the west. <laughs> And beneath the mountains of dark fires. And you guys will not see volcanoes yet. Oh, Sunrise okay. or sunset. Mm. Where the sun sets. Yeah. If we leave here and go to my home, <coughs> we walk with the sun. 
that's uh, I turned to Azari. I said that's that's an alternative plan. Is we could head to Saul's <laughs> land kingdom. It may be best if Rakir were still with us. He would have at least tried to find us. More than likely, he's yeah. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> More than likely, he's on his own, yeah. or he's dead. He's reenacting the movie Corpse Bride about three streets over. <laughs> if he goes uh, to north, he will be found by Kelvin raiders. Oh, that's not good. How, how many are these raiders? At least eight score. Ingve? Four? Uh, a lot. I'm, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. They're a lot. <laughs> their groups hunt uh, waves. Uh, oh. Groups come here. This far out. Maybe came after Stygian bolts. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. Usually they avoid Mayo. Mayo is cursed. Even the Taram do not traverse it usually. I look at him with like a, like a dog that looks at a weird noise. Taram? Yep. <laughs> I, I gesture to my face and to my horns. Mm-hmm. Taram. Oh, you're so wrong. Okay. I point to myself again. Tall of Taram. That's what I mean. Okay. I understand. Uh, well, we're here for to answer some questions. Or only to just hear for you to find solutions for my sister. Um, she a- is ailed. She's in a deep slumber and not awakened. The deep sleep. I know of this. Do you know how to cure it? Not I. Perhaps the elders of Taram, but not I. Well, I am Stygian Bolt. Last Stygian bolt. Then we go to Taram. Uh, Rakir uh, is on his own. Yeah, uh, as soon as I heard that, I, I knew what would be Azari's answer. So Rakir made his choice. Yeah. I, so. uh, I do not fault him for it, but I wish him the best. Mm, his life right. is his own. I agree. I'll, uh, I'll miss him, but it's, yeah. Um, that's he Richard. is skilled warrior too. Um, we'll say warrior. He is wow. a social. <laughs> Damn, cold as ice in here. <laughs> a sociopath is that what you're gonna say? Yes. A sociopath. Uh, and his obsession I, with death. I is, say death I, is I, just, I, I just skilled. Yes. He's skilled at killing people when they're not looking. <laughs> he may last one sunfall, maybe two. That's better odds than most. Onward to Taram. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, Sorry's like focused okay. now. <laughs> yep. We go west. <laughs> uh, as you continue west, you come to an intersection. And the white outline, the black outlined white buildings, uh, that's all rubble. So as you come to this intersection, there's a whole lot of rubble. And then beyond it is just open fields. Uh, You'll see like winter wheat or unharvested stuff. I mean, anything growing out there is growing wild. Uh, Tall, this is where you would have come in. Uh, So you will be reasonably familiar with this uh you will know that you were chased uh by zombies 
as well as the other uh, creatures that are hunting you guys. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, So you can take this black road that goes left and right. Left would take you back towards Ba. Right takes you into the city. If anybody looks at the map, (laughs) uh, you will (laughs) notice uh, stuff uh, everywhere. Yeah. Now on your map, the black outlined with a gray inset. Those are all buildings that are intact and in reasonably good condition. Uh, mm-hmm. You see a couple of them to the left. Uh, you see a couple of them to the right. But back right, you see a lot of tall ones, skyscrapers, uh, anywhere from 8 to 12 stories tall. Uh, and, of course, that would encapsulate uh, the south side and a lot of the center area. Uh, the oh, largest yeah. rectangular building in there. Seems to be a building of importance. It has a word on it. Uh, you don't know what it is. So, how so much time till sunset? So, south uh, is down. South is south is up on this. Oh, map. south is up. North is down. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, you're mid afternoon. Uh, you got about two hours more of so, sunlight. Yeah. We need to find fortification if these those dead who walk come at night we have give or take an hour to to fortify ourselves into a position that would keep us from getting overrun we need a building one of these structures Uh, secure a space for ourselves for the overnight and we can traverse the rest of the way in the morning So at this intersection, you'll see three buildings to your left and then a row of buildings to your right. To your right, the second building in, the more square one, uh, has about four or five stories in it. uh, And it may, if you can get to the roof, give you a decent vantage point of your surroundings. I like that idea. Let's do that that quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Woo woo! (laughs) (laughs) What I will do, um, Frank, is I have five more uses of my divine sense. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is, as we go through the building, my plan is to every floor, I'll stop and try to use it to see. Yeah, sure, that's not a problem. So yeah, you guys will see me occasionally stop, and I, I, I get very still, and there's like a glaze to my eyes for a moment, as if I'm trying to read something that's not there. Before I continue on, I know that look. (laughs) So as you guys go to the right, uh, you pass an area of high grasses. Uh, Clearly, nature is starting to take over. Uh, There's a breeze coming through this area, and the grasses wave gingerly. Uh, Everybody give me a perception check. Absolutely. 17. 22. That's going to be 24. <laughs> wow. Uh, Ingve cannot stop looking at Dave's pink bunny slippers. Yeah. <laughs> They're the best. You, Damn, those are comfortable, huh? You, you other three notice that the, the grasses are waving lazily. You don't hear anything. Maybe every once in a while a bird will call or chirp. Other Nothing's that, out of pattern in the grasses as I look around. Caw, caw, caw. Uh, <laughs> so I thought I heard caw. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, uh, yeah, but nothing looks amiss. Uh, the first building you come to, uh, again, has sigils on it. You don't know what it is. You know that it's one story. The building next to it uh, has six rows of those opaque okay. windows. Mm-hmm. Let's we know that. that that means that there's that many floors. Mm-hmm. That is a reasonable assumption. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. Um, up, up, up. So you pass by the first one. Dave's going to roll out his shield and battle axe before we go into the building. Armed with his shield and You're battle axe. And, and bunny slippers. slippers. And neck pillow right. where it's worn as a tiara. <laughs> yeah. well, that way when he gets hit, it just bounces off a neck pillow and it doesn't That's it. his neck. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm wearing it sideways like one of those Napoleon caps. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice. It's nice. a neck pillow. That's, That's even nice better. Uh, everybody give me an investigation check as you uh, walk your way past this first row of buildings. Ooh, now I get a nat one. <laughs> so that's a, that's a, a uh, one. Does. Ooh, yeah. 
Uh, Dave have minus one. Uh, <laughs> twenty, not natural. Uh, so, same ooh. twenty, not natural. Nice. Uh, Azari and Ingve, you notice dead bodies are inside building number one. Okay. Okay. Building number two, nothing. Uh, it has ceramic large urns, i.e., uh-huh. planters. Uh, there's some grass in there. Maybe a Dave few. Dave was probably cinching up his shield strap. Yeah. Or examining his footwear. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, the building's front doors, they are double doors. Uh, they are open. Okay. Uh, so dirt, debris, leaves, etc., have all blown into this. Inside, uh, there are lights coming from the roof or the ceiling. Uh, a lot of lights, uh, as a matter of fact. As you look in, uh, It is a stone room, stone floor, stone pillars, very pretty stone stuff. Uh, It is an entry hall to what you might assume to be a lawyer's office or something. Mm. Uh, At the far end, there are three metal doors. And then there's an open door and you can see stairs going up and stairs going down. Let's take the stairs. (laughs) Cowards. (laughs) (laughs) Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> we can open the the metal doors, but I just we're trying to be it. efficient right now. As yeah. time is not on our side, right. yeah. you notice the yeah. tall step back. You know he's in his trance. Om, om. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you quickly catch up to your three comrades. Uh, they're going through, and uh, you know you aren't sure, but. The light is coming from small circles on the roof, about 12 feet up. Uh, and it, it's really strange because it's almost like daylight. You can see in here. The furnishings are expensive looking, uh, hammered copper, things of that nature. There are pictures that are askew, uh, a lot of debris, a lot of papers. Uh, but as you get to the door to the stairwell uh the dirt hasn't gotten in this far no critters have transferred itself here that you know of Uh, and you look in and the stairs have metal pipes handrails uh, that go both up and down the the stairs don't look like rusted out or unstable they they're on this level they're they're that nice stone same as the pillars they're they're gonna head up the stairs because as Ari said, we're going up. <laughs> the, the stairs are like this, right? So you can see, uh, and you get up, and there's tank, a strange tank, sigil tank, tank. two on a door, or you can keep going up the stairs to three. Let's go as far up as we can. See if we can <clears> do <throat> like the other building where we were on the rooftop. Dave, sure. copy. Uh, like you, you get up to the sixth floor. Hut, 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 hut. Uh, everybody give me perception checks. Clank, 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 uh, clank. 19. Uh, 20, not natural. 15. 7. Now, Tull, are, are you still checking every floor or waiting until you go make entry into the floor? Yeah, my intention would be right before we, if we're going to go through a door, for example, would be to stop sure. before it, maybe hold up a hand for them to <laughs> wait for a moment and then do the divine sense. It only gives me 60 feet, so if it's bigger than that, I might not know everything, but I'll at least yeah. know if there's something right behind the door. Yeah, they do not appear to want to stop until they get to the top. Okay. Well, that's, so that's fine. I, you, you can still tell them to hold up and check. I'm fine with that. Doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, or you can just hang on to it. And make sure you don't waste it. Um, I'd rather just check. Sure. Floor two. So, yeah, so I'll say to them, I can tell if the dead that walk are here with a moment with my prayers. How far? (laughs) Jeez, how do I say that? 60 Um, paces. Yeah. Then my recommendation is to wait till we get to the fifth floor or the fifth step before we reach the top. As if we can use the top to look, and then we can use the floor under us for protection. Since most have doors, since most have the doors, we can block the entrances. 
and we can use that as our we can use that as our protected base. Your call, Tal. Either order. Doesn't bother or if you me. want to check more, if you wish to check more, we can stop on each floor to check. It is the way of the Stygian bolts. <laughs> I will I will I will say my prayer at each entry. Floor two is vacant. Floor three has a bloody handprint on the window, uh, but t- test is vacant. Same with four. Same with five. As you guys get to the sixth floor, there is an inset rungs that lead up to what you assume to be the roof access, but tall um, senses an evil presence behind this door. I will stop and I'll give them a very grim look. We are not alone. So there's Dave, something Dave will look up. over his shoulder and grin. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll nod at Azari. Yes. Uh, shit. It is the dead who walk. Well, then, but the floor, the area underneath this one is clear. Now, keep in mind, uh, the ceiling here has fluorescent lights, and they're flickering. But you still have light. On the previous floors, the fluorescent tubes were affixed to the side, so you still have light. So this building has power uh, to some extent. Uh, The fluorescent lights are starting to give way, so you you can make any assumptions there. Do you know how many are up there or just that they are up there? No, up I feel at. I feel them not. So behind the doors on the Each. level we're at or up the ladder, up the ladder. No, nope. oh. oh. the floor, sixth floor the floor. Yeah. Okay. okay. The dead aren't up the ladder. He, I, it's a 12 well, foot tall and, you know, he's yeah. got a 60 foot range. So they yeah. could be. And then I look up and I say, my prayers have ended for this. Let's go to the roof then and okay. see if they're up there. Yeah. Everybody dex check to climb the uh, old rungs successfully. One hand and battle axe in my teeth. Uh, 19. 19 as well. Dex 16. Well, let me see. Uh, 15. <laughs> uh, nine. Uh, Azari, when did you go? Everybody roll an initiative. Oh. Okay. 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 Natural 20, 22. That's a waste. 10. <laughs> uh, 12. That's a one. <laughs> uh, oh my Azari, goodness. <laughs> you are going to slip on the rungs and careen towards Ingve. Ingve, uh, with one hand on the rungs, throw yourself off to the side. Uh, D12 against me. Otherwise, you're going to get Azari's boots to your face. Okay. That's a one. I got a nine. <laughs> All right. You managed to let Azari pass by. <laughs> Maybe just a little tail. <laughs> a little tail. Azari lands, lands on the speed, by. though. So. Yeah. Azari yeah. lands oh. and takes five damage. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Most damage I've taken. No, no, uh, no. That's cats. He's games. a lion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I just fall over. Oh. You're, pre- you're pretty sure that Dave's Dumbass slippers probably left it <laughs> on yeah. the rocks. Uh, go ahead and reclimb it there. Very good tread. There we go. That's better. Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, only his pride seems to be hurt. Up at the top, Dave, I think you had the 20. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it ends, but there's a square opening and there's like a lever. Oh, yeah. I've seen a hatch before. Yep. There you go. Having seen it before, Dave remembers it, so he twists. Opens it up. Sunlight pours in. Uh, fresh mm-hmm. air pours in. Been a long time since fresh air has been inside this building. Uh, you throw Dave hatch. hustles out. Yep. You guys get out. You guys are on the top of the sixth floor here. Uh, there's a garden. 
and there's uh, chairs up here. Uh, there's the spine of an umbrella up there. All its fabric's been ripped off. They had a nice little bistro set up here uh, for this. Uh, looking around, <clears throat> bird droppings on the edge. Other than that, uh, doesn't appear to be anything. You get a stellar view of the fields outside uh, of town to the south. Uh, looking back the other way, you see a lot of larger buildings. Uh, and everybody give me a perception check. <coughs> Five, 20. Five. Uh, 18. Uh, 14. Uh, Tal, you don't see anything. Everybody else looking north over the edge. Uh, in between the buildings was a green space uh, with the high grass. There's shit moving down there. Right. Looks uh, human esque. Let's make sure that. Does this roof have one of those low walls around it like the other one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go over and crouch down as low as I can and keep an eye on that green space. Sure. I'm going to. See if there's a way to maybe lock or keep that hatch from being able to be opened so that way things can't like creep out of it or not on this side. Okay. Give me a perception check. Okay, so 25. Uh, there's also another hatch on the caddy corner. Okay. Closest to the street. Okay. And there's uh, big metal boxes in the center. Hmm. We'll check the big metal box. Uh, they have fans in them at the top. They are not moving at this point in time. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, the whole the whole ceiling or floor, however you want to talk about it, uh, pebbles, uh, and okay. then it's got. It's got rooftop gardens in there. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, we have two entry points we'll need to be wary of. Uh, and I'll point out the, the hatch we came up and then the other hatch on the other side. Entry points here <laughs> and the entire skyline. <laughs> but we should be relatively safer here. And it's right around. It's It's starting to get dusk. You see the sun setting. Uh, even with the buildings in the way. Uh, but yeah, you, you notice <clears throat> looking to the west, if you've got your map up, looking to the right, <coughs> there's a big complex. Uh, it looks like a U. Uh, just a huge complex. You see a lot of movement over there. Uh, and then you can't really see the central plaza because the building down and to the right uh, is a very tall building. It's about 10 stories. Uh, but as you look directly south, uh, you can see the stadium down at the far uh, northeast corner. Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You cannot. I, I was looking in the wrong spot. You can't see the stadium. <coughs> you can see it on the map. But yeah, you can see you can see some buildings. Mm -hmm. Dave can definitely see creatures walking through the grass. Mm -hmm. uh, Azari's focused in on the two entry do the, points. Do the creatures in the grass look like the dead that walk, or pretty much? Because the shadows of the building, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be dusky down there. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not wasting javelins on them if they're way down there, right? We'll need to keep our movements or light so that way those creatures underneath us don't make our movements and our chatter light so the creatures underneath us aren't disturbed. Okay. And to be wary of the sky for the flying lizard. Yeah, that was my main concern. Is our, <laughs> <laughs> was that flying lizard. So, Well, it only... Uh, it only attacked once and it 
attacked a lot of the dead creatures last time, so right. I feel if we're not... Those metal boxes, do they have a space between them that's... About one, two foot. You can squeeze in between them. Well, if we were to camp near it, yeah, it would offer some cover. Now, was yeah. the dragon itself undead? Were we able to... You were not able to discern whether or not uh, Nor was tall. Okay. <clears throat> Lizard that flies. Yes. Yep. I think you have to say y'all's lizard that flies. Y'all's <laughs> lizard <laughs> that flies. Y'all's lizard flying. Okay. Um, no, I I concur with uh, Zari, so I guess we'll <clears throat> just have to... Oh, uh, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no. Uh, to find, find a position to, to make camp here and keep watching <clears throat> on both hatches, I guess. Yes. Um, Azari's going to use one of his powers he hasn't before, but he's just curious if this type of creature is around. Um, I'm going to burn a spell slot to see if there are any aberrations within one mile of us. I'm just Besides, cu- Dave. <laughs> I'm just curious because he has a like I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, my detect creature. I want. I'm wondering if there's any aberrations within like the city limits because uh, that'd be. There is. One oh, mile. Yep, there is. Do I have like like the gen? It, hold, let me make sure I'm reading this right because if I remember right, it should give me like the general direction. Let me see. A uh, dragon's not an aberration. That's a monstrosity, right? Or is it Correct. an aberration? There. Yeah, it's a, no, it's, a, yeah. it's a dragon. Oh, okay. It's a dragon. Um, There's an aberration here within one mile. Oh, oh. that bodes well. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a friggin' demolished city. You know, I put a ton of shit in here. Oh, and yeah. I put one item in here that I'm dying that you guys find. <laughs> Freaking Xanathar is here, <laughs> Boulder and shit. Nope, something, something. I just We're said, you know what? Carrie's like, you're an idiot if they find it. Oh, <laughs> now we gotta find it. Pre- prepare to comb the city, boys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, as we were sitting there, it's like, um, not to worry any of you, um, but there is an aberration uh, within one mile of us. And does it? Are you able to discern the direction? Um, no, I. But I know it's pretty much. I I can sense it's within a mile of us. If there's any aberrations within a mile, there is at least one. So that could lead to a number of creatures that it could be that are far more dangerous than these un these walking dead creatures. What's a, an aberration thing? So. There was uh, one type of aberration I know of many, many that my father told me about many years ago was one that is um, like a large eyeball, a large eye with teeth, and it has many other eyeballs around it. The Rakir creature. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rakir would have loved it. <laughs> Rakir would be destroyed by it for the creature. Can- I have... I've heard the tale of the Beholder. Yes, this creature shoots different spells of sorts out of its eyes and can make uh, make you weak and or or turn you to stone or or destroy you outright. These things are incredibly dangerous. Hey, D20 against me, Azar. Can it be killed? 13. Easily, yep. You only, you're only sensing one. Okay. <laughs> that's all I know. Yeah, I just was like, they are they can't it, just like anything, it can be killed. It is these things are are the favorite enemy, are my favorite enemy, <clears throat> are creatures I purposefully would hunt. Uh, table be talk <laughs> could it possibly be illithid? Illithids are. 
considered aberrations also it is well. an aberration that is all i am aware that's of. all we know <laughs> so it's i like, know it is an aberration and everything it is within from one the far mile. realms yes right those right. are my favorite kind of love enemies love the far realm. <laughs> i know of their i know how to speak in their tongue i can i i'm i have versed myself on how to fight them and how to kill them um but there are many so I am still learning of some of their proclivities. Okay. If they come, we will kill them together. Or we will die. Together. Is, <laughs> they are incredibly powerful. So. But I would be willing to. But, I can, but if, if I am. If you I die, can track them. to be. I can track them, and if I know what one it is, I more if I can see them or if I can base it on the tracking that we've done, I can figure out what it is. So you're saying we should seek this thing out? I'm saying if it happens to if it happens that we find wind of it. Mm-hmm. I would not be adversely affected by encountering it and doing our best to eliminate it from this plane of existence. This would be a good way to die. I, I do not. <laughs> I do not recommend that we, we go seek looking. it on purpose. <laughs> right. But okay. I cannot discount the excitement of finding such a creature. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. And Vase was just like, okay, let's, we should put, do let's that put a thing, pin in it. Rakir, that <laughs> thing that Rakir said, put pin in it. <laughs> now Ingve said it. We should put pin in it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Dave, the creatures are just milling about. They don't seem to have any kind of rhyme or reason. Uh, hard to tell what they're doing, if they're organized or anything like that. Everybody else is going ahead and conversing. Uh, Tal, you're looking around. Uh, the sun is starting to set, starting to set real fast. However, uh, on this area you are at, a string of blue lights go all the way around that ledge that Dave was hiding behind, and it gives off a soft, pale glow. In the center of this rooftop, where the furniture is at also a soft glow and then white glow on wires. Uh, so they've made like a little pergola of lights. I was going to uh, ask if there ar- was <laughs> yeah, around, around the city, the larger buildings either have blue or red lights. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's a red light, it's usually on a taller building and it flickers at normal intervals. Uh, some of the buildings that you can see all to the north, uh, some have lights coming on, uh, like they're on an automatic timer. Uh, one in particular, if you look due north and over to the left, there's a building that's about the same height as yours. Uh, a lot of windows in it. Some of those are coming on. They have blue lights surrounding it, only they have a large neon sign on there. You can't tell what it is because you don't speak that language, uh, but it seems to have a lot of brightness. Uh, On your rooftop, it's soft blue. It's not going to disturb you if you get in between the air conditioning units. You won't even notice it. Uh, Also, on the south side along the street, street lamps are starting to come on. Uh, So this area is a little bit different than your initial area. And Tal, since you came in during daylight hours, Mm. uh, you didn't notice this. So this area seems to have survived whatever decimation has occurred uh, a little bit better than others. Yeah. (laughs) The the intro. About the the lights we saw. Yeah. Everybody roll perception. Strange magics in this place. Perception. 13 for tall. Uh, (coughs) 
10 for Azari. Um, Dave, your mic's up. 12. Uh, six. <clears throat> okay. Nobody notices something specific. So, uh, uh, so as night falls, every once in a while, you'll hear uh, the Walking Dead uh drag their feet because none of them are wearing bunny slippers outside <laughs> on the sidewalk <laughs> Man. You, I, if you go in between the air conditioner boxes you will not be able to keep an eye on the hatches if that is a problem let me know where you're at otherwise i will assume you are tucked away hidden in between the air conditioning boxes let's make sure someone's on watch uh, we should have scheduled watches just so that way where if something happens, we can react to it. Okay. Uh, to sleep, uh, to keep watch on each hatch, one person on, keep an eye on each hatch. Yes. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who's taking the first watch? Zari will. And Ingbe will. And yeah. Tall and Dave are taking Dave. the second watch. Yep, yep. sounds good. <clears throat> About four hours in, I assume. Mm-hmm. Four hours in, right before Azari and Ingve are going to wake up Tall and Dave, a screech of unbelievable proportions is heard. Dave, Tall, give me con checks. Let's see oh, if you no. wake up. Oh, let's see if we wake up. Scare me there for a second, Frank. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, 14. Twenty. Both of you wake up. It's exceptionally loud. Azari and Ingve, uh, I assume you guys are each watching a different one and then just flip-flopping back and forth. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Azari and Ingve, D20 straight up. Let's see who has the better one. Uh, 17. Ingve is on the northeast side overlooking uh, the courtyard down below. You see a lot of ambient light up to the north, and the screech is coming from somewhere around there. And then you see the flying Alabama lizard go up towards the moonlight. Uh, and then dive down roughly the same area where you think you might have started. Uh, yeah, eyes big. I'm like Roy Scheider when he sees the shark for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> like, gonna, gonna need a bigger <laughs> hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Come jump on some of this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. uh, yeah, and I alert uh, Azari and the. the <laughs> Lizard, <laughs> really big lizard. Hey, the lizard's over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm smart enough not to do that. <laughs> lizard. Sorry. Let's light a big oh, fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can over see here. the lizard better. Yeah. We'll burn this place to the ground while we're on the sixth floor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I yeah. alert everybody and yeah. tell and and show them exactly where that where I saw the lizard. So, everybody else perception check, please. Twelve for tall. Twenty-three. Eighteen. Azari and Dave figure out your instructions. Tall, there's still a, a uh, a message gap, uh, an understanding <laughs> gap here. Sure. Uh, while Azari and Dave are looking one way, tall, you are not. <clears throat> uh, and you notice down below, it's too dark to see. Uh, there are some lights there. Uh, and you notice that down below on that big building with a uh, neon light, uh, there's a door open that wasn't open before. And there's light there. Azari and Dave and Ingve, you're trying to figure out, you know, where's the distance, where's the apex of this flight pattern, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you hear another screech. It does not come into view. Uh, and you confirm that you're pretty sure that was about the area that you spent last night in. 
uh, tall. You just see <clears throat> a door that wasn't open before. I look extra closely to see if I see the <clears throat> individual who had the box before I met these guys. Oh, uh, you do not. You see some okay. shadows inside the building, though. Okay. Now, did the dragon do that cool moonlight thing where it flies up by the moon and just you know, no, that's for a moment. yeah, yeah. Not completely because it must have seen something to eat. Okay, all right. Uh, God, the, that is the some... lizard, the flying lizard hunts us. Perhaps it seems to be looking where we were. So that is. So Not what's good. itself against the moon and you see the cat hanging out of its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> God, Frank's a dick. <laughs> no one is safe. Oh, We're killing man. everything you guys have interacted with, period. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. The cat so, is the best NPC we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well have been a goddamn mouth the way you treated yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> tall uh you have information you see the other three kind of hanging over the edge mm -hmm. uh and you notice that as they're looking over the edge trying to see this yes the blue the blue light kind of illuminates them okay i'll say there is movement over here mm -hmm. and i'll mm. i'll point to the direction of that open doorway oh okay <clears throat> I'm not, no, I'm not like, oh, okay. It's like, I'm alerted. So I, I turn and, and look where Tall's pointing yeah, and let's stuff. Check like this that. out. Okay, you guys move to the other corner of the building where there's not the hatch because the hatch is on the south side. Uh, and you all see this doorway that's now hanging open. Light is coming out of it. Uh, you three give me perception checks. That'll be a 14. Uh, I also got a 14. Uh, 19 for Azari. All three of you, in spite of Tall's comment about movement, do not see any movement at this time. Tall, you also do not notice any movement at this time. It was maybe a, a passing shadow or something. But you definitely not crazy, not sleep bananas, not COVID fog, nothing. You know you saw a shadow inside that building pass in front of that doorway. There was someone there. Maybe someone that I saw before. And what is the distance of that building with the doorway where the shadow was and all that compared? Uh, just shy of a block. It's across okay. the green space. Okay. Uh, you surmise that if you walk along the avenue, Mm -hmm. You can come in and, and probably enter from there. You don't know what the building layout is over there. Now, if uh, you look at your maps, you'll see how the building is laid out. I turn to tell and I say, Keldon? Perhaps? Maybe. They usually below hunting. Maybe your friend. Maybe another I saw before one who oh. searches the city like we do oh well everybody nice notices <laughs> a whining noise behind you oh shit because you okay. guys are all peering over the side mm -hmm. slowly I turn does it seem to be coming from the air conditioner I'll quickly or? turn <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> it's be coming from there, and there is a steady stream of steam or smoke or fog or cloud of something uh, coming up from just behind the metal boxes. Okay. All right. Um, Everybody, roll initiative. I was going to say. Dave's <laughs> sleeping by wall tonight. <laughs> 16. 
Oops. 16, Sorry. 14. Be one. <laughs> nice, ju- nice throw. Maybe next time turn faster. <laughs> <laughs> 15 for Azari. 15. Uh, tall, you, of course, immediately spin around. You mm-hmm. notice the steam of smoke. Uh, it, it kind of has a bluish tint. Uh, and then a loud shriek is heard uh, from the same general area. And we will pick this up in two weeks. <laughs> uh, so, dun, dun, dun. So, so, so let me get this right. The, the steam and light came up from below to top, and it's not like down coming down on us in the air conditioning. What it's somewhere it in the center up? of the building. Mm-hmm. Behind the metal boxes, to the right of the bistro set. Wow! Yeah, it's like on the roof with us. It's like something yeah. behind the boxes that we can't see behind the, but on the right. roof with us. Right. And you, you guys have scouted this area around, and aside from all these bunkers, mm-hmm. you didn't notice anything that that would have come from. So right. clearly, it's ghosts. Clearly, or, oh, something clearly, could have yeah. come through the hatch. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you no, know, the hatches are on either corner. This is centralized. Mm. <clears throat> so, uh, Kevin, what did you think? Oh, good stuff. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love the uh, the mystery we're building here, Frank. I like all the uh, the little um, descriptions that you give about what things are and then what they actually are. It's kind of fun. I like it. I'm waiting for one of you guys to take the pills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crush them up and snort it. Is there, there is there a red one and a blue one? <laughs> oh, now we're talking. White, yellow, and blue. So, uh, red pills. Kevin, go ahead and pitch your uh, podcast again. Please. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I am the host of the Game Night Heroes podcast, and we play games like this. And uh, yeah, you can find us online at GameNightHeroes.com. Mm-hmm. Social media, same thing. So. Nice you can find me at Kevran Games. I've just told it's over here. So somewhere, I think. Somewhere. It's here, here, here. Uh, here. That, that, whoever's on top, it's just below. Whoever's on the sides, it's on the side. That's it. So, uh, that's go. how much it's I on paid. The side. <laughs> uh David, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm intrigued and terrified. So. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> maybe turn faster next time. They're yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> don't don't try to do that three stooges bit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's nice. supposed to be the B side. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, I, I'm in it for the whole ride. This is getting great. Uh, you need to start smashing shit. I'm waiting I for know. you to start smashing the last. Well, they seem to get all kind of irritated. I when can I see us I doing the diehard thing, you know, grabbing yeah. the, the hose and the yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof. I, I, I stand behind that choice. One, yippee ki yay, mother squisher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, mother, when mother you just whopper. the Alabama dragon is a Huey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, what'd you think? Uh, It's great. I uh, really now wish I hadn't asked about the aberration because now I want to hunt it. Yeah, I thought the same. I I could see that. (laughs) We could see that, Jess. Like I, I, I did it. I did it in the thought process of like, I wonder if this is just an undead city or if Frank's got some things on the side that I didn't. And so I was like, I just wanted to check. And now I'm like, I want to hunt it and I want to kill it because that is what that is my favorite enemy. And I want it to be dead. We can always find our way back. Uh, We got some awesome item to find, too. Don't forget about that. Yeah, that's true. You got you got actually got quite a few awesome items because I I have littered this like it's a convention scenario. Mm -hmm. Uh, The main goal is to find something to cure Azari's sister. So yeah, yeah. that's why Always that's the only mind. reason we're not hunting the aberration. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Of course, of it. How long did it take you guys? A week, week and a half to get here? A week. Yeah. Yeah. But you could be so, dead. Yeah. yeah you, you could you could go back, give her the pills. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> go no. back, give her the hypodermic. Nope, that doesn't work. Yeah. work. <laughs> Should have brought her. Should have brought her. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's and I, I'm finding it challenging. To go ahead and not just directly tell you, oh, the air conditioning units are doing this. You know, I, I like yeah. for a little bit of mystery, but uh, you'll know clearly when I start to be exceptionally vague about what something is like, 
uh, okay, this is important because he's yeah. not telling me shit. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. we yeah. Glanced, glossed over a fact. Anybody is intrigued about this Melinda, if he would have known that was a Melinda, that it said Melinda, because that jacket's in immaculate condition. So, some pharmacists know. like to stay clean. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you know that there's at least one aberration is funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the things that you did not spot on your perception checks earlier uh, are funny to me for an entirely different reason. Oh, Oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? uh, All all in all, I think it's working out well. It's just going to be kind of a challenge for me to try and stay in in character for the game um, i think it's going to be fun so folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot shit about dnd join our discord if you want to be on the show hit us up m hobo inc twitter or gmail don't forget about kevin's show uh if you want to buy some cool stuff uh, the rpg swag site is down below uh at pirate dog dice has uh cool dice and of course, Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com, as well as the Shine system, are all there. Uh, we aren't sure if we're doing Margu tomorrow yet or not. Uh, we will be doing a standard between the roles on Tuesday. So if you want to get in on the talk show, go ahead and let us know. It is going to be an open talk show this time. Uh, we will do the Iron DM Socium the week after that. Uh, don't forget, murderhobocon.com events and uh, badges are available. Uh, remember, if you buy a badge, play any game you want. Just sign up for it. Uh, there are no additional game charges. Uh, along with that, we have movies, probably have some bands. We have an arcade, uh, 80s arcade. So, all you old individuals uh, <laughs> enjoy that. Uh, we got a lot of weird stuff in here, and we're trying to get a, a slice of how the venue looks for everybody uh, so that you can just go in, see what we're talking about and go, holy shit, this looks like fun because it's going to be fun. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, thanks for joining us. We hope you had a good time. For those listening online, thanks again for listening to us. Uh, We will see you soon, we hope. Everybody, kiss and wave. Bye, everybody.